Welcome to Yoga Ladies, everyone. So we will start sitting on a ball. Sitting on that ball, having your feet down, and then just slowly start inhaling and pulling your belly button in and opening your chest. Opening the palms of your hands up towards the skies. Closing your eyes from top to the bottom. And just allow the energy of your inhale to fill your body and your mind. And allow the power of your exhale to cleanse you of everything that doesn't help you anymore. Slowly start circling your head. And then reverse. And then come and open your eyes and extend your arms in front of you. As you interlace your fingers, pressing out with the palms of your hands, opening your arms overhead. And then slowly turn to one side. Then come back and turn to your other side. Coming back, noticing the interlace of your fingers changing. So your other thumb is on the top, pressing out with the palms of your hands. And then inhale your arms overhead, open your chest, and come to a slight bend. Be careful if you're sitting on top of your ball. And then inhale to the top and come to the other side. Doing it a couple of more times on each side. Just slowly warming up your body for your practice. And then come back. Take your opposite hand on top of your opposite thigh. The other hand is holding that ball behind you. Lengthen and then slowly come and twist. Opening your chest, you want to drop your shoulders down and have your chin leveled. That way your neck is straight and you can slowly turn your head side to side. And then slowly switch. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other hand is behind your lantern before you start twisting. And exhale as you go. Looking for that deeper twist. Opening your chest, dropping your shoulders, lengthening your neck. So your head is free to move. And then slowly come back to the center. And then start rolling your hips. Rolling your hips again. Make sure you're lifting to the sides of your waist, pulling your abdominal wall in. And open your chest. Rolling those hips. And then reverse it. And then come back to the center. Inhale, bring your hips back forward. And then exhale, bring them back. Inhale, bring those hips forward. And exhale, bring them back. Inhale, roll over. And back. And in. And back. And in. And back. And then come back with your knees bent. You want to bring your heels as close to your ball as they can be, holding your hands to the sides of your ball. And then lengthen. Shift your hips back and then see if you can lift one toes up. One feet up, one foot up, <laughs> one foot up and then lengthen. And bend. And lengthen. Bend. And lengthen. No hands is a challenge. So you may try one side at a time or both hands up. You have to use the power of your core to lift you, of course. Then switching. So one knee up. Hold it. And then lift and lower. Lift and lower. Up and in. Up and in. And lift and lower. Be patient. Go slow. Be smooth. And then slowly 
Bring your hands to hold the side of your, of your ball and then come to your tippy toes. Okay. Bring those hips back. Let's see if you can lift one foot, maybe both feet. And then balance, 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 balance. This is fun. Be careful. Be careful, be careful. Oops. Stay. Dig those and uh, uh, cows into your ball and fight for it. Fight for it. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. Okay, and then roll. Okay, now coming from the back of your ball. Bend your knees and then roll forward. And then roll back. So lengthening the deepening, coming slowly for your back bend. But be careful, give it some time.
So everything from your breastbone, from your sternum, should be vertical. You're only opening your chest towards the sky. And reach. Reaching with your breastbone, reaching up. And then slowly roll down. Place your hands or elbows over to the ball. And come to an easy forward bend. Easy forward bend here to rest. And then slowly come. And come to sitting. Sitting, opening your legs wide. Flexing your toes. Rolling your ball away from you. You want to be looking over that ball so your upper body doesn't round. Opening the chest, lifting your tailbone up, see if you can come a little lower. And push that ball away from you as much as you can. Then take it to one side and take it to the other side. And again back to the center. Just on your back. You're going for bridges. Your feet are on top of your ball, a little cool, a little to the side, not on even on the very top, but to the side, front side of that ball. Inhale, arms alongside your body, press your heels into the ball and lift your hips. Neck is long and then slowly build up. And up. And down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, and then lift, and lower, and up, and lower, and up, and stay up here, stay up, one leg up, ten dips here, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one, bring that foot down, bridge it up, the other leg up, dip, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one, bridge it up, neck is straight, and then tuck your tailbone in, and then slowly start peeling down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, your tailbone goes last. And then just rest your calves on top of your ball, maybe rolling that ball side to side, rolling your head side to side. And then back to your bridge. And push up. So now you're in bridge. Carefully press into your heels and push the ball away from you. Keep your hips high, don't drop those hips, and then in and out. In and out. You can pause anytime, you can rest anytime. I know this is hard. And in and out. And in and out. Let's do three more, okay? And two. And one, and then rest. Just bring those legs over to your ball and press. Rocking side to side. And then rigid butt up, up one more time. And now this time just take your hands and support your hips. So you are pressing into your elbows, into your shoulders. Neck is long. And then lift one leg up. And then push. And in. And out. Do as many as it's feasible for you. I'm going to try to show 10, but it is hard. So I see if I can do it. I'll try my best. And five. And four. Three, two, and last one. I'm ready to bridge it up. Recover in that bridge. See how easy that bridge now 
seems to be. And then the other leg up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, bridge it up, vertebrae by vertebrae, tuck your tailbone in, and from your shoulder blades, every vertebrae goes down with your tailbone touching the mat as the last component. And then hug your ball with your knees. Bring the ball into your chest and up. Okay, hugging your knees. Arms go to the, go to the sides with the palms down. Squeezing the ball with your knees. Going to windshield wipers. Side to side. Rocking your knee side to side. So imagine you want to lift that ball with your bottom leg. And then inhale to the top. Come as you exhale to one side. And then push the bottom leg into the ball as you go up. And switch. And up. Inhale. And exhale. And up. And switch. If you want a little bit more challenge, you can have your legs move. And just showing for an inspiration. Don't feel obligated to do anything that you don't feel like doing. It's your own practice. So bend those knees. And, and lower as you exhale. Push. And come back. And then take it to that other side. Push. And one more on each side and your rest. And up. And then take the ball and place it right underneath your calf and rest. Rest just for a bit. your side. Come. Standing. Oops. Sorry. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay. Taking that ball. Just kneeling down. Taking it just at the level of your belly. And then come to plank. Come to plank. Hold that plank. So feet, your feet are down. Your feet are down. And then you will be lifting one leg at a time. And then switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. Then tuck your toes in and lift one arm up. And then the other arm up. One arm up. And switch. Last time, come to plank, come to plank, and then lift one leg, and then lift the opposite arm up. You may want to tuck your, the other uh, foot toes, so tuck those toes in to the better support, that's for the foot that's on the floor, and then reach and lengthen, that's your spinal balance. And breathe. You may stay here, you can try to reach, oh, or your heel. And then bring that heel and lift. And then come and switch. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Stay here. If you don't want extra challenge, tuck that opposite toes, those opposite toes in. And stay here. Or bend and switch. So it is a little trickier on the ball, so take your time, take your time. Oops. Okay, it's not happening for me, so don't feel bad. <laughs> don't feel bad. Try one more time. And lift. So repetition is 
what we need to practice in order to achieve something. Be patient with yourself. And then come back to your plan. And then we'll lift both arms up. And then count a little push up and lift your legs up. So this is Shavasana in yoga. And that would be Cobra in yoga. Or if you want, it would be Swan Dive in Pilates if we put it all together. So keep going back and forth and go slow. And lift, fly, and down. And up. And lower. Here, Shavasana, and lift, Cobra pose. You can lift your arms in Cobra. Push that pubic bone into your ball to protect your lower back, and then interlace your fingers behind your back. And then slowly drop to your knees and push that ball away from you. Child's pose. In your child's pose. And then push the ball to one side, allowing your hips to go to the opposite side. And then go back and take it to that other side. Your knees should be about hip width apart. Hip width apart. Squeezing your knee. And then really engage your thigh, front thigh muscles. Don't do anything, just bring everything back. So don't drop your hips now. Going back and forward. Back and forward. Drop your ball, taking your hands into your hips and squeezing your elbows together, squeeze those elbows together, reaching up with your sternum, bringing those elbows as close together as you can and then start coming for your camel pose. So again, keep that right angle between your jaw and between your neck. Do not drop your head too far, but do not tuck your chin either. Now this time pressing your hips forward, looking for that nice back bend, but most of the back bend happens in your thoracic spine, and then maybe reaching down for your heels. That's it. And breathe. And then you're ready, slowly fold yourself in and come to child's pose. Resting in your child. Coming to plank. You are in plank. Find your plank, hold it. Hold that plank. And then bring one leg up. Bend that knee and bring that knee in between your knees. And then carefully turn your back toes out. Heel is falling to the side. But, but toes are in, sorry. With pigeon toes and then drop your head. And you're in pigeon. Pigeon pose. If it's too much for your knee, you can have a ball or a little block supporting your sitting bone. And just stay. Excuse me. Good. So, that's 
a variation for you to practice on having a little support here. So it will be nice, nicer for your knee, easier for your knee, and it also will help you to square your hands. So you can be here too. Everything to go heavy, 
melting and surrendering. Enjoying your Shavasana that will allow to sort out all the information from your today's practice and deliver it to all koshas of your being. Pressing into your hands, come to Sukhasana, crossing your legs, joining the palms of your hands at your heart center. Thank you all for allowing me to be here with you today and allowing me to guide you. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.